Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and we have some bottle babies. So if you guys are interested or you've never bottle fed your babies before, you're going to want to stay tuned. around two days old. Sometimes it'll go a little bit further just depending on the situation. Um, but these little guys here are four, day, four days old and we separate early. We have separated at all different um, stages of, of age. However, the easiest for the dam and the kid is, is earlier the better. So that's what we have done. Um, now the older they are, the longer they're on their moms, then the more attached they're going to get. And I know that seems weird um, because thinking out of our human brains, but for them, for the goats, for the livestock, it is a much easier transition if you separate earlier. So the nipple we mainly use is um, actually nipples that go on a lumbar and you just get a soda bottle or a water bottle and it just fits right on the top of that. You see this little girl hungry? <laughs> um, so it just fits right on top. It's very easy to use. Uh, you might also uh, typically see another one that has, it's the yellow cap and it has the red nipple. Uh, we do use those from time to time also. So this is the first time these guys, um, today's the first day that they have been bottle fed. So look you just you might have to slightly open their mouth a little and just very carefully hold that bottle there and this girl's doing really good another reason um, separating early is a good idea because they take to the bottle so much easier if they're two weeks three weeks four weeks old you might not you may never get them on the bottle they're just too familiar with their mom's teat, with the udder. But it's a lot easier to train them on the bottle if you separate early. And this girl's doing awesome. It doesn't always go that smoothly. No more? Another thing to keep in mind when you're bottle feeding, um, for the first couple of days, they're not going to eat a whole bunch in one feeding. So what they're going to do instead is just, you know, just a little bit. So don't let that worry you. In the first couple of days, you might want to just stay at it. And every couple of hours, give them a bottle um, and just kind of let them eat as much as they can. But the reason they're not going to eat a whole bunch is because how they've been drinking off of their dam or their mother, um, they're just eating little tiny bits throughout the whole day. So their stomach isn't necessarily big enough to hold a large amount of milk just yet. This girl might be about done. She's looking pretty done. So she did really good. You want to turn? All right, now we're going to try this little girl. So again, you're just going to open that mouth slightly. Got boogers. And they chew on it. You know, they're going to chew on it and Oh, she took it. See? Very good. Very good. But you might have one that just sits there and chews on it. Just try to, you know, carefully hold it in her mouth. Putting your hand under the chin helps me a lot. And holding the bottle um, the way I'm holding it, that way I have control of it. So, like, when she's chewing right here and trying to spit it out, I can kind of keep it in. Because, again, they're not used to it. This isn't like their mom's nipple. And what you're looking for, you're, you know, they'll chew on it for a little bit and then eventually latch on. This might take even, with some of the kids, it may take four or five times of attempting it um, before they actually will. You good? 
So she did get a little down. Again, I'm not worried about that. They're not going to eat a whole bunch at first. Oh, yes, sweet girl. Now we got this one. What do you think? You hungry? <laughs> See? See, she's chewing on it. Try to hold your hand under her jaw. Just try to keep it in the mouth the best you can. Oh, see, and then eventually they will latch on. When they realize it's food. Good girl. Another tip, um, when we separate for the first time is gonna be in the evening. Um, it, it seems to work a lot better than in the day when you first initially separate the dams from their kids. And we do separate permanently. When we separate, it's not just overnight and then we put them back with the dams. Um, sometimes you'll have trouble even getting them on the bottle if that is how you um, do it. But we will separate at night and then um, in the morning, they went, they went the evening without eating and in the morning, and it doesn't hurt them, but in the morning they're hungry. So again, it, it, you know, just another tip, it helps a little more getting them on that bottle because they are hungry. So if you're trying to, if you just separated 30 minutes ago and then try to bottle feed, it might not be enough time for them to care too much about the bottle to actually latch on and take that. Huh. All right, let's get the other ones. This little girl's pretty stubborn, so we'll see how she does. Just hold it. Oh, almost. You're all right. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. <laughs> See, now she realized it was milk, so she latched on. So it's probably a pretty big duh, but um, make sure that you have water for the little babies um, when you do separate. When they're on their dams, they don't drink a whole bunch of water. They'll still drink it, but not a lot, uh, just simply because they're drinking that milk and getting, you know, getting the drink that way. So if you're um, bottle feeding, they're obviously not going to have a non-stop supply of it. Um, so you're going to make sure that they need have the water. And they're smart. You can show them where it is, of course, but they will be drinking that water. drink too much. I'm going to try to see if she'll take a little more, but at least I did get her to latch on. So at the bare minimum, the next milking will be a little easier. The next feeding, sorry. Okay. So we'll let her be. I have one more. All right, last girl. Let's see how she does. excited for a second. Oh, there she goes. Oh, good job. I can't say it enough. It's so much easier training them on the bottle when they're younger. Give her a second. Good job. Okay. Good job. So they're all doing really well. Um, she doesn't want nothing to do with me. She's a little scared of me, but that will pass. 
pretty soon they'll be attacking me when I come in. Now, if these were uh, three-week-old kids, it, you wouldn't see it go down that easy. That's, that's how it is. Um, it's a lot more simple when they're young. So, one of the main reasons we do uh, separate when they're young. But, anyway, that's how you do it. You're just going to gently hold it in their mouth, and they're going to try to spit it out. Um, even with the older kids, you know, they'll be moving around a lot more, I'm sure and just trying to spit it out, but just be patient with it. It might be a whole day of them not taking a bottle um, before they actually get it, but just stay at it, continue to try to get them on that bottle, and eventually most of them will latch. So, so with the first week, you're gonna wanna give, and this is for Nigerians, um, the first week you're gonna wanna give them three feedings, the morning feeding, a lunch, and a um, evening feeding. And typically, you know, like I said, the first couple of days, they're not going to take too, too much. So you might want to stay on it a little more, just depending. Um, but you're, you're looking right around six ounces or so, um, four to six ounces of milk per feeding. And then in when they're two weeks old, you can go down to just two feedings, a morning feeding and an evening feeding. And you're looking right around six to eight ounces um, per feeding. And then three weeks, uh, you know, three to seven weeks you're going to want to give them those two bottles and then from that time on you know you're just going to up their milk a little bit so by the time they're about four weeks old both feedings you're going to be given about 12 to 16 ounces of milk but it really is just that easy you guys again if you got the older ones just be patient with them because it does take a little bit more time um, but it's worth it isn't it so we just use the milk from their dams. Uh, if you don't happen to have a dam and you're buying a bottle baby and that's your first kid, then there is milk replacer that you can purchase. Well, I certainly hope this video helped you guys out and um, eased your nerves a little bit as far as bottle feeding goes. It's, it is quite a simple, quite a simple process. And it really isn't that time consuming once you get them trained on that bottle. They can chug a bottle in seconds. So thank you guys so much. See you next time. Mm -hmm.